Creative multimedia artist Trevor Stearman has cemented himself as a leading light in South Africa's creative community. His breakthrough came in after he was named Al's Star Reporter of the Year back in 2012 and has been on the rise ever since. Born and raised in Kimberley, the Diamond City, through his photography and blog, he always tries to remain as authentic as possible. Our producer Tapelo Muela caught up with him and she started by asking him to define what a multimedia artist is. A multimedia visual artist is someone that has collaborative, multi-collaborative skills within the creative space. So I am a photographer, filmmaker, creative director and just an all-round creative. Had you always wanted to be a multimedia artist or is it something that came about recently after you finished your schooling career? I can never ever remember a time when creativity was not part of my life. It has always been something that I've immersed myself in it and I come from a very small town Kimberley and growing up in a small town you obviously have limited resources and that kind of reminds you or rather highlights highlights your talent and your skills at a very early age because that's what you rely on and I was fortunate enough to to be within that space and to have like-minded friends who had the same vision and who had the same point of view as me, and that point of view was always to create. It has been one of the most exciting journeys I've embarked on. It's actually the only journey I know, and it has been a journey of growth, self-growth, self, self and I guess personal exploration, and just a better understanding, getting a better understanding of who I am, where I come from, and, and what value I have to offer to, to the world. For someone who travels a lot, how has that changed your perspective and how you view pictures or how you view the world as a whole? Yeah, I think within traveling, you can never ever see the world the same or even where you come from. It changes your point of view and it somehow brings you closer to home and that's why I kind of focus my lens more on Africa and Africa at large because that's home for me. It's not just about being from South Africa or rather just calling yourself African without traveling Africa and I guess just having had traveled um, that has brought me closer to home and that has kind of advised um, as to how I see the world and, and how I see beauty. And I know I first heard of your work when I saw your home exhibition. Can you tell us about that? What was the inspiration behind that? So home was my first solo exhibition and it was just about investigating the concept of what home means and how our bodies are our first homes yet the most unfamiliar and unoccupied spaces and how I found home within places outside of my own home and within that I also wanted to explore how as Africans we need to kind of be at home with ourselves and home at, and for us to be at home with each other and that's why I kind of crossed the border to Namibia and also shot some stuff in in Kwandebele which was the homecoming of the Amasogana initiates so it was about just bringing two different cultures together and celebrating that. You've worked with big names such as Terry Petto. How has that contributed to your career? Has it helped you grow? Or? It has definitely been a pivot, played, has played a pivotal role in my career and just in refining my taste as well. Like she's one of the greatest taste makers and she has exposed me to like I remember my first trip to New York, for example, was with her and it was to the Emmy Awards. And it, I guess that kind of experience just changes your outlook at life because you are having dinners with like big stars and you are within the same space as them. What makes your work stand out from the already crowded industry? I believe what makes my work stand out is my clear point of view. Um, and my lens is always focused on on black bodies with, yeah, I, I, I focus a lot on black beautiful bodies because I feel that we live in a world where black bodies are not celebrated enough and where our history was never written by us and it is so important that we use this platform that we have at, 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 
within the digital space and this moment that we have right now because I believe that now is our moment as black Africans. What would you say has been your biggest accomplishment this far? My greatest accomplishment was speaking at the um, Oxford Africa conference in Oxford University earlier on this year and my late father used to or rather had this dream that I'd one day study at Oxford and that never happened but I was able to give a lecture at Oxford and for me that was such a I guess a heartwarming moment and especially just being black and being in the creative space and you you grow up not having a point of reference to be like this person made it therefore I have a chance at making it and for me to have had that platform and for academics around the world to be I guess looking at me for answers it was just such a, an affirming moment Lastly, what can people expect from you from here onwards? Um, <laughs> what people can expect from me is, I guess, more growth and self-exploration. I believe I'm like, I'm so young and I feel like I have so much more to offer and I don't want to limit myself by saying I need to take off one, two, three, four, five, but I guess I'm just going to just continue living vicariously through myself and just sharing that with the world.